today I want to teach you how to get this kind of deep brown gorgeous look from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And this is actually a new palette that I got signed. I was so excited I went to the Ulta meetup and my nail fell off. But that's okay because I'll just glue it back on like I always do. Um, but today I wanted to just show you a very, very simple look. This look is legitly under 10 minutes, probably under 5 if you're really good. Um, but it's using a lot of the beautiful colors here and really kind of multitasking. I even show you a couple little tricks that I learned from Eric himself. And they have a brush that comes with it, but I didn't use that. Um, so this is kind of my look. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's everyday, but a little bit more dramatic everyday. So it might be everyday. You may want to tone it down for everyday. Uh, but I think it's a gorgeous kind of dramatic everyday brown look. So let me know what you guys think and I'll show you how. So the first Naked palette actually comes with its own mini primer, so that's just kind of what I'm going to use because I have it on hand. Be sure to use whatever you guys like. Um, but I'm going to just apply this and kind of blend it in with my finger. Afterwards, I'm going to take the Naked 2 palette, and you can just take any flat shade or brush. I'm going to go in with Snake Bite, which is a nice brown color, and apply this to my entire lid. Then on the 222 blender brush, I'm going to take um, Chopper, which is kind of a almost copper hue, and blend this into my crease. We want to make sure that we blend these really, really well together. Afterwards, I'm going to be taking a very, very dark brown color, and I'm just going to be taking it on a kind, kind of a blender. This one's called Busted, and we want to apply this to our cut crease and do a little bit of circles in the outer edge. We want to make sure that we dust off any excess as well. Um, we're just going to kind of blend that color a little bit below and a little bit above just to kind of smoothen everything out. Then on another blender, I'm going to be taking Booty Call, which is kind of a nice, lightly shimmery color, and we're just going to apply this with a blender to our brow. This will give it a kind of faded out look because we're using a 222. I'm then going to take the second color in. Um, it's called Half Baked, and it's kind of a golden color, and I want to put this kind of over the crease color and a little bit over the Booty Call as well, just to kind of shade out both those areas. And then taking Foxy which is a really light color, and I'm going to put it right here um, on the very center of my lids into my inner tear duct. I'm going to blend this out, and it's going to create really, really just a light kind of glow. I'm then going to take Snake Bite on kind of an angled brush and use this as my liner. It's not too dramatic, but it still works. In my special bag of goodies, there is kind of a black pencil, which we're going to use to line our eyes. I'm not going to line completely, just a little bit at the tight line. Next, I'm going to use a curling mascara. Use whatever you guys have. Um, brush is pretty thick, but just add whatever you need until you get the lashes that you desire. Off to the top lashes, we're also going to go very, very lightly on the lower lashes. And lower lashes can get messy, so we're going to apply the mascara and then quickly go in with a brush that has a little bit of powder foundation on it. And this will kind of blend out those lower lashes so that they're not too long, but they're not too short either. Next, I'm going to take the primer again, and I'm actually going to apply this to my lips. And this is something I learned from Urban Decay's global makeup artist, Eric. Um, works as a great primer and really adds kind of mattified to a gloss. Next, I'm just going to apply the Lip Junkie that comes with a palette, and after that, we're done. Hey everyone, so that is it for this look, and Cuckoo likes it too. His name is actually Mithu, but we call him Cuckoo, because you see, he's like a psycho, he doesn't want to sit still. He likes to run around and put his paws in makeup palettes, which is really nice. Um, but that is all that this look entails, and if you have the, just like any primer, anything works. Um, but that is just one way that you guys can use this. If you want more tutorials with the Naked 2 palette, then let me know. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I got mine signed by Eric. It was so exciting. Like, I've never been a teeny bopper fangirl. I was a teeny bopper fangirl when I met him, uh, which is really embarrassing, because I'm like, I'm not impressed by anyone. Like, if Rayana's walking across the street, I'll be like, oh, look, there's Rayana. And yeah, I'd cross the street to go meet her, but it's not like I'd be like, oh my god, Rayana! But I was about to, like, maul this guy in the store, because I waited outside the store for 30 minutes before they opened, and then he didn't get there until an hour later. So I was there for an hour and a half, just, like, pacing the store. I was like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, anyway, so that is kind of a look. I hope that you guys enjoy it. And I'd also love to see your looks with the Naked 2 palette if you guys have it. So be sure to post them as a video or a sponsor, even if you just have like another everyday look. Um, so let me know, and I'll talk to you on the next video.